Hello, we're back and we're going to be talking more about other disorders of the integumentary skin besides pressure ulcers. Let's have a closer look at some of these. I'm going to go past some of the disorders of excessive sweat and what have you. I think those are pretty straightforward. Important thing is to just look at the main terms that you see here and just circle a few of these. This is what you need to pay attention to. The go to the main terms and then the subterms I'm going to put in a check mark. So this should be able to direct you to the correct code. Not a whole lot of difficulty. Lesions, again, this comes down to some of the terms. A lot of these were filled with, we've been familiar with the cyst. What is a cyst? Fernicle, papule, nodule, macule. Gives you, your book also gives you some definitions here. So you might have a sebaceous cyst, some of these other things. The nevus, this kind of abnormally pigmented area of the skin, the birthmark, if you will. Ulcer, again, very popular main term. The one thing that I see a lot of is people stop reading when they say ulcers and they don't really get everything that's it about. We always associate ulcers with the GI system. They can be skin ulcers. And then within that, certain types of ulcers, diabetic foot ulcers, what have you. So very important ulcer, in addition to being a popular main term, is a cue to read for a finer level of detail. And then again, we have the malignant lesions. In other words, the neoplasms. These are skin cancers. So the most one that we are the most fearful of is the malignant melanoma. These are cancers of the melanocytes in the skin. And even though it's less than 20% of all skin cancer fatalities, it's, it's I'm sorry, all total number of skin cancers, it causes over 80% of all the skin cancer fatalities. There are some other ones that we see from time to time, neuroendocrine carcinoma, the marker cell carcinoma, right? Squamous cell is ones that, and basal cells, some of the ones that we see where they do the most surgery, where they do cut downs and layers and send them to pathology. A lot of times we see this in elderly people from years of sun exposure. And then again, little note about prevention. One of the things that I read recently is that Oregon has a higher rate of skin cancer per capita than other states rather interesting to me, but these are good reminders for all of us to stay in the shade, use hats, use sunscreen, and so on. And again, some people have sent me messages about these types of Z codes as people refer to them as. Let's take a look at some of the main terms that you'll see. And let me just go ahead and type a few. Some of them are mentioned in the screen, in the slide, but one is encounter. So very common. Another one, if we're around something that gives us any type of exposure, be it lice, whatever it is, it's exposure. And then we have history. When you see history, check and see, is it personal or is it family?
And that's all I have for you. We'll see you online. Bye now.